Ah, well yes sir, welcome back to Crooked Hooking. It is another beautiful day to be out on the lake. The uh, season change has finally occurred, so it's the end of summer, beginning of fall, so I want to see what's going to be biting, what's not going to be biting. Today we're going to try the Crooked Hooking Slurpee Stick Bait. So I want to see what that's going to be all about. Hopefully it's going to be pretty good. So, let's get after it, and let's see if we have any luck. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so here is the crooked hooking slurpy stick bait. Let's see what this guy can do. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's something big. I guarantee you this is a snakehead. I guarantee it. And he's coming right at me. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a bass. I think. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come here. Come here and say hi. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? Alrighty. I got you. I got you. Let's get there we go. The hook is out. The hook is free. Let's say hi to you. Yes, sir. You got a nice little belly on you. How you doing? Alrighty. On the crooked hooking slurpy stick bait. Yes, sir. Here we go. Let me let you go back in there, baby. Alrighty. Now, me personally, I don't fish with weight on my lure. I like to kind of keep it where it's just underneath of the water line. And I found that just works for me. That's just my personal preference. If you guys want to add some uh, weight onto it, some eggs, uh, some egg weights to it, you guys do whatever you need to do to get that fish. But this is just my personal preference of fishing. That's all. That's all. All right. Well. The wind kind of blew me over to where I did not really want to be because I don't want to disturb the area because I don't know who else is hanging out in this spot. So I'm going to just go straight ahead, just cruise on into this little hole here. And I'm going to throw the worm around a little bit and if nothing happens, I'm going to put on the frog. See what the frog can do. Now you've all, you've all seen the crayfish. You've seen that in action. If you haven't, I will post that video. I'll link it for you guys somewhere in here. So that way you guys can see it. It is available for purchase for you guys as well. It's the Nightcrawler coloration. It's one of my favorite colorations. It's my personal best color that I personally choose all the time, as you can see with the Slurpee stick here. But like I said, that's just my personal preference. You guys fish however you need to fish. Look at this turtle. Look at this. Oh, oh I'm going to run over him. <laughs> all right, let's see what this algae filled spot can do. Now because it is the changing of the season, I don't know, it's going from summer to fall, I don't know if top water is really the best lure to choose, but I just want to see. So we changed out the bait. The top water bait, like I said, I don't think was the best choice because it's not top water conditions. So we put on the crooked hook and crawfish. 
Let's see what this can do. I don't see anything. Yeah, I just happened to glance over here and it looked like something big was coming at me. So I kind of think that was, oh, there, was there. See, I told you there was something big. Let's see. Maybe we'll catch him. I saw a big ripple come at me. That's why I was like, ooh, something, something decent was like right there. Oh, there it is. I got him. I got him. What is this, another bass? This is, yep, another bass, nice. Oh, he got off. Oh man, but you saw him. You did, I hope you saw him. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. So that big swirl that I saw past me on my right that went behind me was that, all right. But you saw him. That counts, right? It has to. <laughs> oh, there it is again. Oh, all right. All right. I don't know who that was but I don't want to go too close to him, just in case if he's floating around still, still again. So let's pop it right back into his home there. Maybe he's still there. If this doesn't look like a good spot, I don't know what is. Oh, what did I just say? <laughs> let's see. There we go. There we go. I felt the bite. Yes, sir. Swimming right at me. Look at him. Oh yeah, baby. Look at this guy. He inhaled this this uh this crawfish. Alright, let me get you some slack here. There we go. Mm. There we go. Another good fish. Didn't I tell you this looked like a really good spot? Wow. Almost looked like he had like a defect in the top of his spike there. Nice fish. Nice fish. All right, buddy. Thanks for playing. Nice fish. Okay, well, welcome to the other side of the pond. We came from all the way over there. <laughs> Let's see what lives out here. That guy behind me just said he caught a 5.7 ounce largemouth and then a quarter ounce largemouth. And he's like bragging about it. <laughs> if you listen carefully, you just might be able to hear him talking in the distance behind me. But why would you brag about getting a five ounce frickin' largemouth? <laughs> Unless, like, you're just so desperate for a fish. Oh, there we go. Yep. Ah, oh, close. Close. I thought I had a bite. See all this hydrilla here, it makes it confusing to tell which is a bite and which isn't a bite. So you just go nice and slow. All right guys, last cast and then it's time to go back. Oh. No, just hydrilla. guys it turned out to be another perfect day and it's a perfect ending from summer fishing into fall fishing now what happens here in Delaware is the fishing gets unbelievably slow it's almost to the point where it's like the biggest struggle it's it's horrible sometimes so I'm gonna say this was a perfect close to the summer fishing season I'm gonna try to do a couple of more fall fishing episodes hopefully Wow see that 
<laughs> I'm sure you just saw me jump. That thing shit made me shit my pants. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, but I'm gonna try to do some more fishing. Uh, hopefully, we can get at least a couple more episodes out uh, before it becomes winter time. So, if you guys did enjoy the episode, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like, and please leave a comment. It gives me uh, some feedback to try to make the video better or just do different things and try to get some more uh, videos out there in general. So, alright, guys, until next time, I'll see you later.